This is the brief homily for the 24th of January. Please read the readings before listening to the homily. Well, this time round, Jonah obeys the word of God. He goes to where God sends him the previous time, the first time. He'd taken a ship going in exactly the opposite direction of where God was trying to send him. And after his adventure, he eventually does a 180 and obeys God's instruction. He preaches to the people and they repent. Now that word, repent, repentance, it translates a Greek word that means change your mind and that translates a Hebrew word and an Aramaic word that Jesus would have spoken, meaning change your direction or do a 180. That's what the prophet did in the first reading and in consequence that's what the people whose lives were heading the wrong way did. When Jesus in that gospel calls on people to repent, he's not just asking them to feel sorry, to feel regretful about their sins. He's asking them, commanding them even, to change their lives, to set foot on the right path. The psalm today asks to be shown the ways of God, the paths of God. In that second reading, what was vexing the author of that letter was that some people he was writing to, their lives were not facing in the right direction, they were following a wrong path, they were behaving as if good things in this world, and they are good, could be made into the purpose of a human life that someone should live as if buying things was the purpose of life, or any of the other examples. So that passage in that letter that's our second reading calls on people. Repent. Turn around. Put your direction of travel where your values lie line up those values like lining up a compass with north so they're pointing to eternity